Welcome back to the channel today. Um, hopefully you're liking the content. Uh, if you do, make sure you subscribe. Um, hit that thumbs up notification if you like the content and make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you get notified of all the episodes uh, of the bucket list and the, the kayak project. We're actually trying to come out every Sunday uh, with a new one. So just keep watching and uh, like to have you as a subscriber. So what we're gonna do, and I don't really know what we call this kind of day, but uh, it's gonna be kind of a cleanup day. Cleanup day uh, from the standpoint, we put the the hull and deck together on both yesterday, and uh, I thought that was really successful. I did notice there was some areas here where it did separate. Um, it came back up and separated a little bit. And then also there was some overhang on some of this. What um, what I do need to do is come back here and uh, re-epoxy with some thickened um, material. And we're going to come in and clean up all of these areas here that may need some extra attention. Um, and then I do know we're going to come back in here and I think we'll just put a, this is small enough here. We'll just put, um, some thickened epoxy in there. We'll go just make sure all of this is tight. Um, any of the little areas here, we'll get that taken care of too. And then, um, I don't know if I'll get to it because that may be about all we get to do, but I do want to start cutting uh, to get this uh, sealed up. Now, the one thing that I read yesterday was it said to flip the boat over and actually start building up with the thickened epoxy. That is way too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue a piece in here and then I will take and epoxy that on up uh, with some fillet on up into the top and that'll strengthen this up um, so because of course you're going to be sitting on this the one thing i did do yesterday which it was really good you know every time you get a sander on this because you kind of look at the wood and you kind of go uh, it's not that good it's not going to come out that well but every time you get a sander on this it really starts to make this look nice um and, and i'm getting it's it's getting uh, to be every time I work on on that that it's looking nicer and nicer. So the one thing that I am thinking about doing because I've seen these satin finishes and I really like the satin finish and I may do a satin finish with this one here. Uh, just tell me in the comments below which direction you think I should go on this and we'll do whatever everybody wants. Um, but uh, that's all I'm going to do today. I'm going to mix up some thickened. And we're going to come in here and apply that throughout the boat that needs those. I think I am going to go get a syringe because I will need that. I think the syringes are all back at the house. So we'll start away.
Well, that seemed like that was a lot of work and it also seemed like it uglied up a lot of stuff. But uh, we'll come back in here and take and sand a whole lot more. The one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to uh, put together some clear epoxy. And I'm going to go through some of these other um, holes with the syringe as well. Just to kind of go back over and make sure this is all uh, tight. There's no pinholes in it. And then I think we'll cut um, some areas in here with some wood that we'll end up gluing in. And you did see we ended up um, getting that pretty tight there. This will all look better once the smoothing starts taking place. Because you can see right here where it, I mean, it actually is starting to come out pretty nice. And um, along with this wood putty, that'll help as well. So I'm going to mix up a little bit, not much, and we're going to take and come back through and where we can um, get in some of these little holes here with just epoxy and we're going to be good. Well, I find it strange that we take, you know, these great quantum leaps forward and then we kind of go backwards. And so I've got in and I filled all the little pinholes and anything that I thought may have a problem. And as you can tell, um, it now looks ugly again. <laughs> so, so we'll end up taking and um, letting this dry and then we'll get on it with the sander and start start shaping it. Um, I'm not going to do anything with this one here since it's up there and so I'm going to work on this one and get it to the point where I can then take and put that one up. I think one thing I am going to do is the camera is sticky so I'm going to go in and wash the camera with a little bit of um, white vinegar and get that so the epoxy is off of that. We'll let this dry, but I do think I'll come in and kind of look at how I can fit some um, some acomi into that underhang there so that we can start tightening that up. So we'll be back. Well, I almost made a pretty big mistake. So one of the things that, I mean, I had this piece and I thought, oh, I'll just put this piece in here. This is actually oak from the condo project. Kind of looks a little bit like a Comey, but as I started looking at it, I thought, well, no, that's not it. So I actually have, as I throw that out, I've got all of these plates that we used and some scraps um, that we used inside here. So why not use some of this to kind of work our way through and kind of get this the way that it needs to be. So this is going to work pretty good. I think I can come in here and kind of keep chopping off some of the sides until it kind of fits up in there and then we'll kind of cut a little bit more on it. So I need to figure out well, what is it that I'm going to use to cut with and then we'll kind of work from there. But the one thing that we do the one thing that we do need to remember, and it does say this, to remember this, is remember when we get ready to um, take and epoxy and put that last layer of, of um, fiberglass on, is to do this at the same time. Because when you're mixing that, it may change the color of the fiberglass. So we've got to remember that to keep these out so that we see them. These are the, hatch, the hatches. I wonder what it would look like if you... <laughs> eh, it wouldn't look good. So let's go ahead and we're going to take and see if we can get this cut down. Um, I guess I'll use a jigsaw to do that. We'll just kind of rip through it and I'll keep, you know, drawing on it to, and we'll just kind of keep getting it up there until it kind of seals that area. It's not going to do everything. I don't think, but we can get we can get a pretty good um, hunk out of it.
definitely the way that you should do this. But then again, this whole thing is not the way that you should do it. So I could actually adhere this in, uh, take and then epoxy it, and then also reinforce it by putting some more tape here and here, really making that sturdy, really making it sturdy. Um, it's going to add some weight, but... You know, I actually think that's going to be pretty good. And, I mean, it, it'll look okay. It'll look fine. So, I guess the way to do this is we'll take, apply this here. I may get some weight, put it on that. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... We've got some copper wire. Go ahead and drill a couple holes, copper wire that in, and then, then we could epoxy that all together. We'll laminate that and that actually make that pretty good. Possible, do you think it's going to be for me to thread that Take and sand this up a little bit, put a little epoxy on there, put it in, and then we can tie this down, let that all dry, um, and then we can come back and start doing some fillet. There's some other areas down there on the side that we'll also want to fill in as well. Um, maybe I should cut those out, but maybe I should just take and let's get this up in there. Um, tighten it up a little bit and we'll get some little blocks to put on those sides and then also uh, adhere those as well. So here's the thing. What we're going to try to do is we're just going to put uh, epoxy on this one side. Uh, we'll mix enough and we'll adhere it. I don't know how well it'll adhere, but the biggest thing is getting the epoxy on the one side. And then the other part is once we're finished with that, we have these little side pieces. We'll do that. And I'm going to, like I said, mix enough epoxy so that I, then I'm going to paint the front. We'll end up putting some, um, some of this thickened in there to kind of bond all the way around it. And maybe put in some fiberglass a little later, but let's just go ahead and get this taken care of from this standpoint.
Well, that was a little intense. Um, I thought it'd be a little bit easier than that. But then again, I didn't think I was going to go ahead and and uh, put in the fiberglass. But heck, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, get that nice and hard in there. Uh, clip out all of the copper wire once we're done. And that'll make that a whole lot nicer. And then we get to just start sanding because <laughs> it's a mess right now. But... Uh, you can see it is gone, so that's a good thing. Um, that'll actually firm that up really well, and it'll make it so that we can sit on it and not have any problems back there. I am going to do the same thing with my, my wife's boat, um, now that I know a little bit different, uh, maybe a little bit easier. But I think the next thing that we'll end up doing on this one here is we're going to let this dry, and we'll come back out later today. And just uh, hopefully it'll be dry by then and then we'll just start sanding i'm not going to sand a whole bunch but we'll at least get it looking pretty once again and then we'll bring down that one and get it into the same state or we just finish this one out as best as we can i think that's maybe what i'll do as i'll change my plans here finish this out as best as we can it's always good to then sit it away and let it kind of just sit there without um, any intervention on it um, and then you can kind of go back and then see what the bad parts are so that's going to be it for today um, actually it'll be it for a little while we'll come back out and sand a little bit we'll catch you a little bit later on today so I came back out and everything is dry um, this is all looking real good I've taken and cleared out this a little bit um, there's a lot of residue in there that I'm going to have to probably take some time sanding quite a bit. But uh, this is now down. Feels really good. Of course, all this is a mess. Um, what we're going to end up doing is really get in here with a sander and start sanding this down. Um, I would take it outside, but it's about 91 degrees, so we won't do that. I'm just going to get a, a random orbital and probably an 80 grit sandpaper and just start going through this.
so time is just it's actually starting to work so as you can tell tell i'm slowly getting down to getting this back to where it should be there's some areas here that i need to work on but i am getting this all curved around as you probably are seeing that i'm working through with a little small hand plane to get this taken care of there's some few overhangs here that we're gonna gonna get it done but uh, it's really starting to smooth out come together i'm using um 60 grit on the random orbital and 80 on the hand i know that the hand is pretty harsh but i'm keeping it flat uh and i'm just trying to to get a lot of the surface area taken care of but uh, we're starting to get there um, a lot quicker than what I thought uh, but uh, we're gonna try to get this down so that it's respectable and then we can um, start on our next step which will be fiberglass in the top so we're gonna continue on oh, I do see a pinhole there I don't know if that's a hole all the way through I don't think so but we always got to look at those because we don't want to be sinking. That's it for today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to um, sand. But um, make sure to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up notification or hit the thumbs up if you like the content. Make sure you turn on the bell to be notified of all the new bucket list projects that are coming out. Thanks a lot for watching. We will catch you on the flip side.